Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this creative bouncing text animation in After Effects. It's very easy to create and you can use it for any kind of text. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new one and I'm going to call this one text width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick 10 seconds. Just click on OK. So we have our composition. Now I'm going to first create my text. So for that, you can select the text tool and just click and type whatever you want. I'm going to type creative. Now you can pick whatever font you want. I'm using this Gotham bold or Gotham black. Now, once you are done with your text, let's align it to the center. Again, if you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. So we have our text now I'm going to select this and I'm going to hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool to make the anchor point in the center something like that. So here we have our text. Now I'm going to apply a fill effect to this. So let's select this and let's search for fill and let's make this red just to separate this from the other text as well. Now we are going to create individual characters over on top of this and we are going to animate those. So I'm going to again select the text tool and I'm going to just click and I'm going to type the first letter which is C and I'm going to select this let's align it to the center again make sure that its anchor point is in the center so you can hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool so here we have now I'm going to just align it to where we have the C so you can use the arrow keys like that perfect so here we have our character now I'm going to select this press P for position and we are going to animate its position so let's zoom in and let's add a keyframe now this is going to be our final one so i'm going to move this little bit ahead now in the beginning i want this to come from the bottom somewhere around here and after this i want this to move up so somewhere around here and then it goes back to its original position so now we can probably zoom out now these keyframes are quite further apart so we can probably select them and let's move them closer like this just make sure that the distance is a couple of frames something like that perfect we can probably play around with the position nice so you can see that our text comes in and then it goes back to its position but still the bouncing effect is missing so we can easily add that for that i'm going to use this expression so this is the expression that i'm going to use now i'll pin a comment and type this expression so you can just copy it from there or you can just go to this website realistic motion bounce so just copy this and i'm going to go back to the composition now hold on the alt key and click on the stopwatch over here you can just press ctrl v to paste your expression that's it now if i play back you can see that our character comes in and after that it bounces again it's not looking that good so we can tweak this further so i'm going to select these two keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and i'm going to make the graph to look something like this so let's select this endpoint and i'm going to just make it look like that so you can see that we have our c coming in very quickly and after that it bounces over there perfect so i think we are done with this animation again if you want you can play around with the distance between the keyframes if you want more bounces then you can make these keyframes closer something like that and if you want less then you can just move this further away like this but i think this is looking fine so we are pretty much done with this so before we continue if you enjoy my content and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will find access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so link for that is in the description make sure to check it out so let's continue with this now in the same way we are going to create another characters so let's select this press ctrl d to duplicate this now i'm going to just type the next character which is r and let's select this press u and i'm going to go to this keyframe and now select all the keyframes now you can hold down the shift key and just use the arrow keys to move the characters and just place it where we have this just make sure that to select all the keyframes otherwise it will only change one now let's select this press ctrl d and let's type e again let's select this press u select all the keyframes and just move it over here now i want this to be lowercase so let's select e again just use the arrow keys to move it precisely now in the same way you can just keep on creating all the other characters so there you go now we have created all the characters and if i play back you can see that all of these comes at once and after that they bounce 
Now I don't want these two coming at once. I want to have a little bit of gap between them. So first of all, I'm going to just hide this text which we have over here. Now we are going to just add a little bit of delay in between these characters. So let's select this, all of these, and I'm going to just move them a couple of frames. So let's say two frames. And after that, I only want C. So I'm going to just move this two frames ahead, then this two frames ahead and just make them randomly away like this so now we have added the delay and now if i play back you can see we have created this sort of animation and i think this is looking perfect again if you want to have more distance between these characters then you can just add more gaps but for this one let's stick with this now we're done with this now before we do any kind of animation onto this i'm going to select this comp and i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this because we need two compositions so in this one we are going to create a little bit of zooming kind of animation for that i'm going to add a null object so right click new null object now i'm going to select all of these layers and let's parent them to the null like that now we can control them using the null properties so first i'm going to press s let's add a keyframe for scale and press p for position here we have scale and position press u to see everything now over here we have the characters coming in so i'm going to quickly zoom in and let's just place it over here so we have the c and you can see that as the other characters are coming i'm going to just move it to something around here now if you don't want the scale animation for example let's say let's remove this so we have this now i'm going to just scale this up quite a bit and just place the c now you can see that as the characters are coming you probably have to move this little bit up like that and let's move this little bit more so you can see that we have all of these coming in and we can probably make this a little bit faster so i'm going to copy the y value and just paste it over here as well that both of these are at same height like that now i'm going to delete the last keyframe we don't need that and we have this again it's completely up to you can play around with their position and let's place it over here now i'm going to select both of these keyframes and let's just move them a little bit up like that so here you can see we have all these characters coming in now let's create another composition and Let's call this one main. Rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. So we have our text and we have our text too. So let's drag both of them over here. And we have the first text composition. So I'm going to just place it over here. And let's move a couple of frames ahead where we have all of these coming in like that. Now I'm going to press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer. Now we can delete this and i'm going to just select the top layer which only has the animation and i'm going to just place it over here like that now i'm going to add a position keyframe as well so let's press p and let's add a keyframe so this is going to be a final one and in the beginning i'm going to just move it over here select the keyframes press f9 and let's go to the graph again if your graph looks different then make sure you are using the speed graph and let's tweak this further and i'm going to change the curves to look something like that so now if I play back and we probably don't want to see it in the beginning. So we have these created this sort of animation and I think all of these characters are perfectly aligned. Perfect. Now you can add a background however you want. So let's add a solid and I'm going to make this really nice blue color. Just click on OK. Let's place this at the bottom. So here you can see we have created our characters and if you want you can enable motion blur as well so you can select all of them and you can probably enable motion blur over here and you can add motion blur like that now if i go back here you can see we have added all of these this really nice motion blur now you can do the same thing over here as well and there you go now you have created your bouncing text animation and in the same way you can create any kind of animation you want 
So the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.